Well, hello there. Uh, I <coughs> few days ago I uh, wanted to do something, and I gathered the components that I needed. So here is a, a magnifying uh, makeup mirror, a small non-magnifying pocket mirror, and in the in here is a small magnifying glass. Uh, can you guess what I'm doing? Uh, well, if you read the title of the video, you probably did. Uh, I'm doing a <coughs> small reflector uh, telescope. And you're probably asking, uh, is it possible to do it with a city? No, no, like makeup mirror that isn't designed to do that. And in my experiences, my test that I have done, it's the picture is very distorted, but it is possible. Uh, so here's uh, one test that I did. Uh, there's the sun, and there is a wall, and here is my mirror. It's this way is the magnifying side, and this is the regular side. So if I point the put the mirror in the sunlight. I can take this point of light, oops, and if I try to focus the light in the one small spot, let's see, I get this kind of shape. I don't get a neat little point, I get this V shape or whatever that is. So that shows that this isn't really uh, usable for the uh, telescope use. Yes, I, as you can see, there, there's a lot of distortion in the middle and, uh, and the sides. But let's proceed anyways. Let's see what, what we can do with this. So, here I have laid the magnifying glass or magnifying mirror rather in the, on the floor. And if you know something about the reflector telescopes, you know that there is a secondary mirror. This is this hand mirror. And it's pointing 45 degrees from the mine mirror. So the light is coming from this direction. It is bouncing here, in the middle, here, in this secondary mirror. And then it is going into this magnifying glass that straightens out the light that goes into the eye. But I did a little test, and I think that the uh, camera lenses do some kind of tricks that doesn't need this <coughs> magnifying glass at all. And it is actually better picture than 
what I have ever seen in my own eyes with this magnifying glass. So let's test it out. I'm going to put this camera on the floor next to the the camera. Here's the mind mirror, the secondary mirror, and the camera goes next to this. And I'm not going to use this at all in this experiment. So I lay the camera next to the mind mirror. And now I'm going to zoom into the secondary mirror, like this. And now the point is that I'm going to point with my finger the middle of the mind mirror. Uh, let me see. There it is. There. And if you would look with your own eyes, now you would see your own eye in the middle of the secondary mirror because the light bounces into the secondary mirror to the mind mirror and back to the secondary mirror and back to your eye and you would see a picture of your own eye and you would use the the magnifying glass to focus the picture, but I'm not going to need that, because it looks like I this, I cannot, couldn't find the reflection of the camera anywhere. So I think that the camera is focusing perfectly, perfectly into the mind mirror. Here you can see the distortion. Here's the middle of the mind mirror again. I poked a little finger print here so I can find it more easily. And if I if I move the mind mirror forward, it is very close now, the picture gets larger, and if I move the mind mirror back away, back away to, from the secondary mirror, the picture gets more wide. So, one thing that I noticed that wasn't optimal for the uh, telescope use is the, the focus, focus point. of this mirror is really close. It's like here. Oh, let me see. Uh, there. There's the perfect picture of the outside reflecting from the window inside or rather outside. And that's about like then, then, uh, no, then twenty, 20 centimeters, and in reflector <coughs> telescopes, the focus point will, would be much further away, I think.
and I'm not really sure what the significance of that is. Uh, I think that the point is that that further away the focus point is let's less curvature the mind mirror ha has to have and there's less chance of having distortions. Anyways, I I'm hoping to make some kind of rig for the some somehow rig artist com components together so I can take it outside outside and hopefully hopefully see some celestial bodies. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I found that it's really important. Well, well, not it's really important, but pretty important. Uh, clean the secondary mirror pretty good. Because when you are trying to focus it with the magnifying glass, you end up focusing on dust on top of the mirror. And you think you see something that it is interesting, but you are actually focusing carpet on carpet. So keep that in mind. Have some clean the mind mirror too. Have some kind of window cleaner or something handy when you are doing this kind of experiment. Okay, thank you for watching.